Hi everyone, it's Laurel here from Forever Purple Creations and I am here to show you the new kit from Rosie Posey, aka Rosa Kala. Um, this is the trifold kit. Um, I've been waiting patiently every day, checking my mail, waiting for it to come. So I took it all out of the envelope just so I don't have to go through all that. So and I will open it up and show it to you. I'm very excited because it's super gorgeous. It's all wrapped up in all this yummy bubble wrap, which I can reuse. My Happy Meals. Okay. Let me get it open. Very excited. Very excited. So, of course, it says, you know, her beautiful little tag, Rosie Posy Kits, that she makes. And then this is the trifold like this. I hope you guys can see all that. And then it opens like this and opens like this. And then you have all these waterfalls in here, or this long waterfall, I should say, all the way down to fit lots of stuff, lots of pictures or well, I think it's supposed to be for photos and stuff like that. I'm sure you could use it for what you wanted and make little pockets and little little tags in there. But I believe it is supposed to be um, a trifold photo album. So um, that's why it's got all these waterfalls. So you can put um, photos in here. And then it closes like that. So these papers, which she gives you the paper and a piece of chipboard so i will go through them with you we have this beautiful one which is very pretty and the piece of chipboard and then this gorgeous script one which is really pretty love the colors in this and its piece of chipboard and then this gorgeous pink one it's like pinks and beiges it's really pretty and I believe, and I know Rosie told me some things about this, which something was going to be a little different. I'm guessing it's from the cuts of the sheets of paper. So they're not all going to look exactly the same. But I believe these go on the one, two, and back. So this goes on the, because I think one is a little bit wider, and it is. So one goes on the front, I believe like this. And then one goes on this fold. I'm trying to see, I know these... One looks a little bit bigger, and I'm guessing that's the back piece. One goes like this, and then one goes on the back. Yes, like that. So you can use um, these two. You can put whichever one you want on the front, and I think I like this one on the front and this one here. So it'll go like that. And then you can, of course, distress this, and you can probably cover this with... Uh, just like a solid color if you would like. And then you can distress your whole folder if you would like. So that's how those go. And like I said, I'm sure it's due to the cuts that each one's going to look a little bit different. I think that's what she was explaining to me. And I'm sorry, Rosie, I can't remember exactly what she said. But I know she said some things are going to be a little bit different. And I'm sure that's just because of how she cut the paper. So that's that part. So I'm actually going to open this to show you how the rest of it goes. So then you have this beautiful bag. I'm going to open it. Sorry for the crinkling. I, I love stuff like this that comes with everything so you don't have to sit and think about it or cut it up. So she does give you some corners. And I'm sure these are for like the first page and stuff like that. So you can put little corners on or you can just do, you know, corners on the top and bottom. So you do have some little corners. And there are eight of them. And then she gives you all these little strips of paper. And I know I'm doing these first and I'm probably doing it backwards. But these are for when you flip up, see where this piece is? These are for there. So that that covers that piece of the paper. Isn't that a great idea? So she gave you enough to go all the way down in each fold and put one of these little pieces of paper to cover up the cardstock. She made this so nice. I cannot believe that she handmade every one of these and it's just like perfect all the way down. Not that she doesn't make awesome kits. I'm just saying this had to be a hard one to make, but I've never made a waterfall. So now I will be studying this so that I know how to do it. But so she gives you all these little gorgeous pieces 
of paper and they all have different like this one's got some script on here and some pink flowers and this one's got butterflies pieces of butterflies so they're all and I don't see I don't see any well there's one green one that repeats but look at this one sorry guys I just got home from work and my hands are always super dry isn't that really pretty oh oh my gosh I can't hang on to nothing isn't that pretty so I love all of these so that's in that envelope you got those and your um, corners so I'm gonna put them back in here And then I'm going to show you this first just because I love her a little something. And it's a beautiful pearl with the Made With Love. And then it's on like a um, rusty paper clip. And I'm sure you can clip this on your journal, if on your uh, trifold if you would like. That can probably clip right onto the front page. So I, I love when she gives you this... Um, this little something and I usually keep them my last one for my box so I did attach to the box but these are so sweet so that's that so then you have this one and I'm keeping this open just so I can show you where where these are intended to go let's see if I can remember what Rosie told me my brain I'm lucky if I can remember yesterday anymore sorry I'm getting a little a few pings that's always normal when I get home oh yes so these are pockets and look at this this is so sweet so she even made it so that here is the bend and there's even a little bitty i don't know if you guys can see that but there is like a score and then a score line so that when you fold it over you have like a, not even an eighth what is that a tiny little space so that it gives you space in between your pocket so what you're going to want to do is on the corners i'm going to try and show it to you You'll see how it meets at the corner. You're going to want to cut this little bitty square out. That's so when you fold over, your papers don't fold over each other. So you're going to cut that out. You'll see when you get it, but this is cool how she did this and scored these. And then these go here, one here. And I know it looks like it doesn't fit, but once it's you fold over the edges, it will fit. So you can put one here, one here one here and one here and then you're going to have four pockets and then she also made papers for the pockets so you've got one two three hope you guys can all see this and four and then like i said if you if you would like you can add a contrasting color behind here or you could just distress your white paper. It's up to you, but it is going to leave you a little bit of an edge if you want to just distress it. Um, I would fold it and then distress so that you don't fold, you don't distress where you're going to glue. But then there, are, whoops, this one's upside down. So these you can put in, in which, wherever you want around on here. And like I said, you can add like a solid, like a pink behind here if you want, and a green behind one. That's that's up to you. Or you can even um, color your pieces of uh, cardstock, I'm sure, if you'd like. So these are really cool. I love these little pockets. I love the little cutout here. So that's how that goes. So I'm going to put all these back to the, together the way they go. This is just a great idea. Awesome idea. Love this one. I can't wait to make this one. All right, so I'm going to put those back in their little bag. There we go. And then you have this bag. And look at that already. Is that not gorgeous? I am going to take it out and show it to you. And then, set, you know what? It looks a little dark. Let me put my light on. I probably should have done that first. You know, the sun's shining and everything, but where my window is, the light just doesn't come in. Voila, now we can see. Darn it. All right. So look at all these yummies. So I'm going to open this and show it all to you. Love how she just packages everything, too. She has the best bags. <laughs> I'm going to 
take it all out. And as most of you know, if anybody that, you know, that doesn't know her and wants to purchase one, this kit is already sold out and gone. Once I get it and I show it, um, it's already been all sold out and there are no more available. So, oh, look at all these pretties. So we've got this beautiful pink lace and it's a very soft pink. I need something white to put it against so you can see it. Let's try this. Will that work? Not really. It is a very, very light, light, soft pink. Maybe you can see it. There you go. You can see it on there. And she gives you a big piece of it. And I'm guessing you can put this along the front, up the side, um, across some of your little pockets here. And it's nice and thin, so you can put it just about anywhere in here. I don't know if she pick these specifically for specific places. I'm not sure. Like this, you could put along here. You could even put it hanging off if you want, but that could go along here. Which is, look at this. This is gorgeous. It's so dainty. Isn't that pretty? I, I, I don't, never seen this one. She always has these things I've never seen. And then this beautiful dangle one. Look at that. Now, again, you could put this across the bottom um, so that it dangles off. You could put it across some of your folds because they all are going to lay flat, so you don't have to worry about that. You could put it on your pockets that are on here. And I will, I will talk to Rosie and see because I don't remember. We really didn't discuss this, I don't think. If we did, I'm sorry, Rosie. My brain is not my brain lately. So then we have these gorgeous, oh, look at these, these gorgeous square doilies. Those are beautiful. Love, love, love these. I almost want to hoard these, Rosie. They're so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Those are so pretty. Going to have to try and make one of those. That is just gorgeous. That is beautiful. Love those. And then this beautiful piece. Look at that. Look at that little bitty. This is like all done with thread, but that is gorgeous. So you could cut you could cut squares out of this. You could cut circles out of this. Or you could just use the pieces like this and lay it on your pages. This can go on the front or the back over your paper. However you want to use it, I'm guessing. And then you have this beautiful piece, which trying to decide where I'm going to put this, but isn't that gorgeous? And you could probably do this on a couple of them. This is really pretty. Or you could put it on the sides here and then put your pocket over it or put cover your pockets with these and use those papers to cover this. But that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And it's got the the golds and the pinks and the greens and the, uh, it's like a yellowish gold but it's beautiful all these colors are beautiful together and they're not as bright or sharp as it's making it look on here they are very soft it's very beautiful and then it's got like this white um embroidery like over it with those roses and stuff it's just gorgeous all right and then she gives you a bunch of and i'm going to call this seam binding and you've got a pink, like a rose pink. Um, oh, beautiful, beautiful. That is like um, a steel blue. That is a beautiful blue. And then this is a gorgeous, like, hunter green. And then this beautiful yellow. And like I said, it is not a bright yellow, but it matches. I mean, look at this. It matches this fabric and the colors in this fabric perfectly. So that's awesome. Now if I can get these, I'll never, I know I'll never get these folded. I don't know how she does this. I'll never get these folded back up. And I don't want to wrinkle them all up. So I'm, I'm going to do my best here. Let's see if I can get this back together. Because I certainly don't want to wrinkle them all up. But I'm terrible when it comes to this. I don't do this very well. All right. Well, maybe we'll play with that once I'm off. But I will fold these all back up. So, this is everything that comes in this kit. You have plenty of stuff. Like I said, if you want to add some of your own, um, 
solids or anything to it. I'm I'm sure you can, but you pretty much do have everything to cover it. And like I said, those pages are supposed to be for photos, so that's probably why she didn't give you paper and stuff to cover them. But you can use solid colors if you'd like. Like I said, this is for all the in-betweens, and these are for the pockets. And then you have your beautiful ribbons. So this is all the gorgeous stuff that comes in this kit. And I cannot wait to make this one because this one's going to be so much fun. And then, of course, your little extra something. A little something. I love how she does that. So, yes. Yeah, so, this is the Trifold Photo Album or Trifold something. It's a Trifold. <laughs> I, I believe it. I'm almost positive it's for photos. So, this is the new kit that um, everyone that purchased will be getting. I'm very excited for all of you to get your kit. You'll see all the gorgeous yummies. And remember, some of the papers are going to look different, and that's just because of where it's cut out in the piece of paper. So, they are not all going to look the same. They're going to be the same colors and stuff, but a different part of the piece of paper. So, just remember that when you get yours. And I hope to be working on this soon. I know, I don't know if I'm going to try and start it tomorrow because um, I'm not going to be on long. I do have a busy weekend and then next week um, I will not be on at all because it's my last week before my daughter leaves for college and we have a lot of stuff to get done. So um, I will talk to Rosie and discuss when about, you know, when about I'm going to start this and stuff, but I, I would like to do, you know, I would like to do it all the way through. I know it's hard when you ladies are watching and we kind of bebop back and forth, back and forth, back and forth from person to person. So um, I would like to just run through and, and make the whole album. And I think that would be a better way to show her kit is to be able to work on it and, you know, run through all the way through, even if it's two videos, just working on the kit. Um, so we'll sit and figure that out and I'll talk to Rosie about it. But here is the trifle kit. I am very um, super excited to get it and I cannot wait to put this one together. So thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I'm always doing different projects on my channel and have different guests on on my fun Fridays. So like I said, I may pick pick a different day to start working on this. So thank you all so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. And don't forget to get out there and create something. Bye for now.